radical black supremacy. And with this particular video, I want to talk about the arrest of Capleton, the reggae superstar, Rastafarian, and the conspiracy to destroy black iconic figures. Now, recently, Capleton was arrested. On allegations of rape, two allegations of rape, and he was charged and maybe maybe released on bail. I'll have to do the follow up on the story, but he was arrested and charged on that all of a sudden. Now in Jamaica, they locked up Vibes Cartel. They locked up Ninja Man. In America, they locking up Bill Cosby. Now, in Jamaica, we say, well, that's just Vibes Cartel and Ninja Man. That's just bad man politics. Like, you know, they're, they're basically somewhat gangster rappers in Jamaica. Gangster reggae artists. Where Vibes Cartel... Then bleached himself, got all type of demonic tattoos, and Ninja Man has always been looked at as a gangster, somewhat in Jamaica. So we say, well, you know, that's just that's just them. Even with the Bill Cosby thing, you know, that's just them. You know, Bill Cosby's, you know, guilty. He had the Quaaludes, you know. That it was 30, 40 years ago, don't matter. You know, he's, he was into that. That's You know, that's just that. First they get Vibes Cartel. You say, you know, well, that, that's just that. That's just Vibes Cartel. He was into some bad business. Things didn't go right. And then they get Ninja Man. You say, well, Ninja Man, Vibes, they, they're both pretty much in the same genre. Similar demeanor. Both type gangster, reggae artists. Whatever. Even though Vibes Cartel compared himself to Malcolm X. Bill Cosby compares himself to Nelson Mandela. That don't matter. You know, that, that's just what it is, man. They was just the wrong lifestyle, wrong life. Made some bad choices. It caught up with them. But now when they get Capleton, who is a Rastafarian, an iconic image in the Rastafari movement, who spread Rastafari culture and ideology through his music globally. And now they get him for rape. And now what you gonna say? What you gonna say now? They getting who you consider to be righteous, who you consider to be against Babylon. So it don't matter now whether you're a gangster or whether you're righteous or whether if you're black and you're iconic, they coming after your ass. They have a conspiracy to destroy black iconic figures, to destroy the morale of black people, to crush the spirit of the people in the times that we're in right now, to crush the spirits of the people under white supremacy. The black man is under attack. They're using a the Me Too movement and using the feminists to spread this type of misanthropy or male hatred that's pretty much affecting black people. Because you don't see white people going down from this. Weinstein ain't had his day in court. He's fine. Um, the other actor, uh, I can't think of his name, Sheen, giving out... Uh, HIV to women, he's fine, his career's fine. Woody Allen, their career's fine. But you see the black man being taken down. You see R. Kelly's career under attack. You see Bill Cosby getting locked up. And now you see Capleton. So whatever their, whatever their new agenda or their new witch hunt it seems to affect black people the most 
we seem to be a targeted we seem to be targeted by it some of you think well it matters whether you righteous or not or believe in righteousness they don't give a goddamn if you somebody in the black community if you black you are under attack this is why we need to stand together and transcend our illusions of division in ways of which we're divided some righteous some gangster all that shit don't matter if you black you under attack it doesn't matter if you a powerful black man who have the power to influence change or your power is driving maintain or motivating the masses of black people in some way they're looking to take your ass down to crush the spirit of black people so it doesn't matter how self-righteous you are or how much you all that's a fucking distraction they don't give a fuck about any of that if you're black you are under attack so this whole capable to thing shows me that now it's in the collective consciousness it's not just the government, it's the collective consciousness too. That they have implanted a seed within the collective consciousness to give the average person a green light in being involved in this conspiracy against a black man. Like they they've they have they they're now implanting this subconscious thought to make people want to feel okay with attacking some black man, some black iconic figure. Like they've letting you know that's the season we're in now. So the, the collective consciousness is now participating and helping carry out this agenda. So people who normally in certain cases would have been forgiven, forgiving, they would have overlooked certain shit or they wouldn't have been having such a negative narrative on certain situations and events. Now... They've implanted a seed within a, this, the collective unconscious or subconscious to say now, that's a, that, that's a fire button now. Move on that. Put this narrative on that. Bring that nigga down. Take that nigga down. It's nigga take down time now. Help us out. Help us bring these niggas down. Bring these niggas down. 2018. That's the season we in. So this it's been planted within a collective conscious. So these people think that, you know, they literally have been assaulted in some manner or that how they're perceiving or defining or understanding assault. They think this is coming from them. They think that they are seeking justice or that they are doing the right thing. Because that thought has been implanted with them. So it, it, it really ain't even a fault. Even if this woman has made these allegations against Capleton, she's done this unbeknownst, unbeknownstly. She's under a collective consciousness spell to participate in the destruction of the black man. Like, that's the culture now. That's the culture. This is the window of opportunity now to tear down the black person. It, it's trending. So that the, so the elite has planted this thought into the subconscious mind to create this new narrative to look at events, situations, and circumstances that are involved black men, particularly iconic figures, in ways where you can take their ass down. Like you're gonna be rewarded. This is a good thing. This is this is where we at right now. That's what's going on. So you can bring up some shit from 50 years. It doesn't matter. Tear down the black man. You can meet, re you can reperceive events and circumstances in a way, in a drastically different way than they will have been perceived 50 years ago. And now they've given you a new perception, one that works for their agenda, so that now you can look at events, situations, and circumstances in a way where you're a victim. And a black man is dangerous and intimidating and deadly and forceful and aggressive. That's the new image that is being displayed. And that's what is being presented to the masses. 
that's making them come out with these allegations. That's making them coming out, coming out with these stories. That's what the whole Me Too movement is about. It's not taking down the white man. It's not stopping the white man. But it's, but it's adding more black people to the prisons. It's adding more black people. It's, it's, it's destroying the image. It's defaming more black men. And it's more destructive to black people than anybody. Because they have to tear down the black man and all of your icons. And it doesn't matter what you think about yourself. That you're righteous or your belief in righteousness. and It doesn't matter. They see Cosby the same way as they see Kate Capleton and his global conspiracy. They see R. Kelly the same way that they see Capleton. You're seeing a different. You're seeing a distinguished. They're seeing Vibes Cartel the same way that they see Malcolm X. They're seeing Cosby the same way they see Mandela. You're seeing a difference. They don't see a difference. It's black attack. If the rope fits around your neck, it's good enough. There's no distinction. So we've made all these distinctions to make us join sub-movements against black men. Against black nation building. Against black manhood. Now you join the sub-movements. Because you don't see us all together. You don't see us all in the same boat. You don't see us all in the same situation until they pull your number. Until they pull your card. Then you're like, oh shit. It wasn't just because Vibes Cartel was bleaching and had tattoos. It just, it, it just wasn't because Bill Cosby was partying uh, 40 years ago. Oh, it's all oh, they just it's, it, they they hunting now. It's open season on niggas now. Oh, 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 oh! I didn't know. Oh, it didn't matter. This King Noble Black Supremacy signing out.